I know what the I fuck? Cry, but I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. Well, I mean, no. You just have to kill someone. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... Donuts. I need to eat donuts. That'll cheer me up. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, melon lizardas. Okay. Oh god, a donuts. I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. <laughs> okay. St I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. What the fuck? What's that sound? Hmm. It sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. But... I'm super scared, but... Is... is someone there? <coughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, Fujizaki. Hey! Hey, Asahina! C can you help me? I... I trapped my soul in this locker! C can, can I... can I... Can I take over your body? Whoa! A new generation legend, stand tall, galactic hero. A robot in the background, there's Yamada, Sakura, and some kind of fairy. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone meeting up in the dining hall, just like always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Today is kind of sucks, huh? Toko and Byakura still refuse to show up. Um... And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. Mm. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. This is rather unusual for her. Normally, she is so full of energy. Mm. What is ex which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So it's the seven of us then. It looks that way. How about that? It's times like this when the committee chairman needs to get those things with a bang. Impossible. Or not. Poor Shamar. Taka hasn't since said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished and nothing he could do about it. I couldn't, can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well. So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> now I'm all like... depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. This, uh, this is our only hope we have now. What? To live here forever? Well. Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, however you need is seen to. Why? Are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its perversion. Perversion. In which is our current situation not? <laughs> Demon Angel Pretty Budgie Princess! Huh? Here we go. Maggie, the drill shop owner, the bunny eared Amazon, cat girl dog boy, Robo Justice, the Galactic King. And, and, what I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is nothing to be done. The Mastermind puts such base desire to their advantage, bending you to their will. You know? 
Okay, well, since... Anyway, since talk is like uh, catatonic, mm. as the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So we're all going to work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, well, I mean, right? since the class trial is over and all, Perhaps. there should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, there's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. Then, we're done eating. Let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problems with that, Celise? <laughs> Mm, there may there may well be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Ah, um. uh, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. And so I appear, genocide. What? Eh, nobody call for you. Uh, um. What the hell? How come it's genocide of Jill and not Toko? Yes. God, this place is just amazing. Finally, a place that can just be murder self. Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Uh -huh. Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with the split personality thing is so overdone. I gotta destroy that stereotype. You, I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um. But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> Girl, if she wasn't here, my sub chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Come on, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> well, whatever else we do today. First we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. Oh, God damn it. So we'll force to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after our much needed but very annoying meal, we set out to work a look around the school. <laughs> Alright, let's head off. Hey, Hakura. Could it be? Nothing's changed on this floor. Mm. The only difference is the gate blocking the stairs leading up to the third floor is gone. I guess that's where they wanted us to head next. I wonder what's crazy, kind of crazy stuff's up there. The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're going to find this time. What's up here? Two floors here. Getting tired of this. <laughs> Alright, time to check if everything has mono coins. There's one. So, the rec room. Oh, of course, Celise would be here. Hmm, so this is a recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. I never would have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> Well, no normal school would. It has Othello's shogi, even a dartboard, and a pool table. And look at this. They have provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly become helpful in help keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello there, allow me to expound. We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, and all kinds of magazines. Ba -bum. Ba -bum. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So and you will be adding to our collection as new issues come out. Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Watch out. Oops! Nothing, never mind. No, no, no. Anyway, that's it for my expandation. Bye-bye. What he just said? I know, right? It bothers me too. Most Life here would be that much nicer if you could add some new issues once in a while. Uh, really? <laughs> come on, he's saying something about the, ma and the magazines. There we go. The table here. I'm not going to bother reading up about everything because it's probably not going to be useful. There are all different kinds of magazines here. They even have a bunch, bunch of monthly comics. Okay, regular updates over that. I just want mono coins. Give me mono coins. Give me mono coins. Give me mono coins. Mono coin. There's a mono coin. Yeah. Hey, Gear Gear. So the third floor opened this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. Ooh. I also found a huge machine of some kind of physics lab. I wonder what it does. I have no idea. Maybe? I don't know. This is probably the art room? Yeah. At first glance, this looks like any normal art room. But something about it does seem off on multiple things. Huh? There's a Monokuma thing. Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. Yay! I should get like 10 Monokuma coins from that. 
Well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches the artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course. They've also got collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Fermi, do you like sculptures and figurines? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Charambo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially buy anything that Super Robongi makes. Charambo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkinhead is that little sculptor fairy, representing the city's greatest quality. Saburo Rapongi, meanwhile, is known for his Mechamasumi series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of the all eight system missing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, Besides, that empty seat rightfully belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> it begins today, begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see, well, good luck with that. <laughs> okay, what's the name? Hi there. Oh. What's that? This is the repository that's attached to the art room and used to store different artsy things. There are wooden mallets across the wall. Dolly, they must have used it. Okay, what's this? There's something on the floor. It looks like a pitcher. As I stretched out my hand to pick it up, it's almost as if on its own my hand froze. Huh? When I saw the picture, Jiro, Leon, and Mondo, and they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How did they get developed? And in that picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plates covering it. Which must mean wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here. But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... That's mine! Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo, and in chance, I had it answers, evaporated. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? They were definitely living the school life. It's like they ripped a page right out of the Book of Youth. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing! Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind, I don't even know why I bothered asking. Wow, that was strange. There are stairs leading up, but the gate's blocking my way. So there's at least one more floor. Yeah, I don't think anyone could fit through all that. I was thinking maybe you could fit through the bars, but you can't. Whoa, that's what Kirigir was talking about. Oh, this is the physics lab. It's like it's less like a classroom, more like some kind of research institute. Hey, Shmar. Hey, Taka, do you think this place is like some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. That sucks. Oh, hi. It's a camera. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime style design to it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on fine. Yep, yeah, it still works. I should, I should show the others. Cool. What's up with this ridiculous big machine? Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> what, you want to do some quantum leaving? Phew. There's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student. The ultimate physicist. physicist. Although they, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A time machine? Seriously, so you can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in it. If I can go back to the past, then can I? This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! <laughs> oh sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you like leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. What? Pizza bagels? <laughs> one minute? Hmm? You sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines. Uh, what? Hey, Honestly, um, it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? In other words, it can reduce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. But with that discombobulating gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? Anyway, this, ma this machine is the reason you guys all have delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it, it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier? 
And more than that, to go out of his way to say something you know you'll, you'll hurt, you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. Oh, I, I got a monochromic one. That's good. Eh, genocide. This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized and there's strange, delicious smell everywhere. Ah, this place is so relaxing, so calm. The smell of flomohide, um, formaldehyde is almost unbearable. It's so tempting! I just want to dunk myself in it! Of course, genocide of Jack still likes it. It's just, it's just going to show how disgusting it really is. Hmm, I discovered lots of stuff and it was all strange, but I don't know if it was actually any clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. <laughs> that was pretty funny, honestly. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Hina! I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Hmm? I thought she was sick or something! Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love donuts. Mm. But wasn't your stomach that... Wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well, well I, my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Miss Asahina's mm. pretty much the same, mm. it looks like. Just a hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well, anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Sorry. Besides that, you. Huh? <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the hell? Did you convince them to double up on milk production? Bastard. Stay away from her fiend. Uh, um... uh, anyway, first things first. We should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Hmm. Right. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's start with Hishimaru. Hmm. Uh, it's no use. Okay. Agakure, Agakure. Hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Biakure a little while ago. What? You, where? You. Where was he? You kind of scaring me. Where was he? Uh, um... He was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he must have got from the library. No, 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 no. Uh, that's where you're hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> she just ran off. Is she okay? <laughs> we would not concern ourselves with her. Oh, okay. I didn't get to talk to her. Correct. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Huh? Does someone have that here? Mm. Is the device really that big? Mm. I really don't get it. So, um... um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be... I didn't happen to be donut-related discovery, did it? What, do you, what does that even mean? Right. Never mind, it's about the nurse's office, remember? There's the one on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Hmm. I did look, but no dice, just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. I see, that's a disappointment. Aww. It is disappointing that the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. <laughs> I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the halls and the rooms were blocked off. I wish they'd give us a rest already for serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about it. Impossible. You make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <laughs> Just to be sure, went from one end to the other, tasting each each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end. I, w I would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. And Yabada? Mm -hmm. It's still Celise. There was an art room on the third floor. It had all kinds of gears. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm, a digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing's like a kid's toy. It looks like it can store like five pitches, maybe. It doesn't even have a timer. Well, well, on top of that, its appearance seems questionable. Is there some kind of anime character? Strange. You know Rude! She's not Demon a Angel p Pretty Pudgy Princess. Oh, you recognize this, Afumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest, a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? <laughs> Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation. Where did you find that? In the physics lab. <laughs> 
It's the most pre possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it on the first day, along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have disappeared, uh, reappeared in the physics lab? However... Ah, but look at it. What? It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a second-hand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it. Mm. It's not mini connection. Yes, I don't need fun. it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> then may I have it? I may be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Mm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Eh, yeah, true. Okay, now for Slice. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be very, even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> oh, will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? Okay, I've heard about everyone else's say. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repos um, rep um, repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. Huh? A weird picture? You mean, like, dirty? No, not that kind of picture. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Chiro all together. Why? Those three. All three of them were laughing. Oh. It showed oh. the three of them together, laughing? When could it have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing any of them knowing each other before coming to the school. Well. You probably just imagined it, and that monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it, I'm telling you. But if I wasn't if it wasn't taken before we got here, or after we got here, How about that? I bet they're all still alive. They left school and they took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all, we saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead, either murdered or executed, and they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko, and then there's Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. That was an illusion. It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died, there's no way of them are still alive. So, you have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma was most likely forged, I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man, don't let Monokuma bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, more and more importantly. <laughs> on another topic, there is something that's been bothering me I'd like to discuss. Uh, what? <laughs> There is also something that has been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. What's been bothering you? Actually, it's about Hina. Huh? About me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person. But whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell, something that you can't hide no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose just gets a little longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed that you were lying. Oh. That's not fair! <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least try not to lie convincingly. Uh, try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Y yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. Are you feeling I'm guilty sure about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. But... It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Uh, what's going on? Was it that thing you saw, Fujisaki's soul? Sorry. Are you Fujisaki now? If she, did, did she possess you? That's cool. That is cool shit. As, um, Asa, Asasaki. Asa, Fujihina. I, I don't know. To be honest, I didn't really have a stomach ache. I did, I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? Well. I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Mm -hmm. A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else may say, I'll believe whatever you say, no matter what. So can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... so it happened last night. I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happened up till now. I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get huh? some donuts. Donuts again? Honestly. And you ignore the rules regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know, sorry. I feel really bad about it. Gina. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed up to the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange noise. Well... 
It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. And saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. And there's no doubt who it was. It was Chiro. Say what? <laughs> no way! A ghost? Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just in most cases, a paranormal activity was born from your weakened mental state. Well then. Then all we have to do is go free see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it. If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What, what, what? You're gonna try and see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are we going to do, Celise? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Hmm. Mm, how about you, Mr. Mr. Shiro? You gonna wait here? Oh. I guess that's a yes. 